It may be hard to believe, but in just two weeks, it will officially be two years since Middle Tennessee was forever changed by a series of tornadoes. And this week, a fixture in the East Nashville community was finally able to reopen. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us why they're so excited to be back. When the weather gets like this, it reminds Steve of the day he thought he lost everything. Power poles and power lines and just alarms going off and water gushing up in the sky. This was the aftermath of the March 2020 tornado. His skate shop was in ruins. This place was just leveled. It was just, it was like, I didn't even know how to get in it. And he assumed his cat who called the store home was gone forever. We thought maybe she'd just run off. It turns out the cat had a few of her nine lives left. Fabiola, how you doing, sweetheart? You doing okay? And with a lot of hard work, so would the store. I mean, we started right away. I didn't even think about it. It's like, we gotta, there's got to be a skate shop. Within two months, Steve found a temporary location to sell all of his gear. But with the pandemic now crippling the world, it was no skate in the park. We were able to, like, finance enough and just keep going by the skin of our teeth and hang in there. Now at last, the store is rebuilt and all of the employees are rolling around again once more. Everything is just set up exactly how we want it. But not everything here at Asphalt Beach is totally brand new. They're actually able to salvage the original floor and build up from there. There are also touches of the tornado all around between a new mural honoring the courageous cats and a clock forever frozen on the time that the storm hit. And that's when the tornado hit and it hasn't, hasn't run since. Steve says he never doubted this day would come. This is our, you know, this is our neighborhood and, you know, I know everybody up and down the street and uh, uh, it's just, this is where we belong. The kind of excitement not even the weather could ruin. I can't even put it into words. It's, uh, I get emotional thinking about it. With photojournalist Tony Cook, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. There has been a silver lining to all of this. Steve says by rebuilding the store, they were able to remove all of the support beams, which lets them skate, as you saw, unobstructed all around the store. Congratulations. For to sure. Them.